When did you buy your first home? First time home buyers are getting older. The National Realtors Association lists the average age at 36 in 2022 versus 33 the year prior. And rising mortgage rates, no doubt, are weighing down the trend, with the 30 year fixed averaging around 7.5%. Let's bring in financial literacy author and Debt Sucks University founder Janae Adams. Janae, explain the direct correlation between mortgage rates and interest rate hikes. Yeah, so a lot of people, you know, are thinking about these these mortgage rates, and I can definitely understand. And and we have to talk about exactly where we are, where we are, where we've been, and where we're going, because a lot of people who want to buy homes are really wondering, is this ever going to go down? Hopefully so. It's certainly hard to swallow a seven and a half percent fixed rate when two years ago it was averaging less than three. Exactly. So, uh, you know, let's talk about why they were low in the first place. We have to remember that we were in a global pandemic and a slowdown. And so zero rates were the, the norm for the United States because they wanted to keep us from going into another great recession or even worse, a great depression. And so those mortgage rates was tied to those zero interest rates. And so people just had those those three percent or two percent uh, mortgage rates and they were buying everything up and they made the housing market really hot which the Federal Reserve was trying to cool down right now, and that's where we are today. Reducing inventory as well. So what do you foresee as the trend the next few months? Yeah, so so where we are today with the whole uh, 7%, well, guess what? Unfortunately, it could end up going higher, mainly because the Federal Reserve wants to get it down to 2%, the inflation rate down to 2%, and we are down from 9% down to 3%. So until they know that this 2% is sustainable, they are going to continue to raise rates. And so that is where we are headed. And that's what I'm sure people who want to buy houses want to know. So then buy now or wait and run the risk of bidding wars and lower inventory if rates do go down. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely a balance where we're <laughs> headed. And so, uh, the, you know, people who want to buy houses are, are asking me, Janae, is it going to go down from 7%? And what I am telling them is that Jerome Powell said he doesn't see cutting any rates before 2025. Mm -hmm. And so that's something to keep in mind. So these rates could go high or even higher. My, my suggestion to you is save a 20% down payment or more. So when those rates start to come down, you are in a really good position, better than anybody else to really get that house that you want. Yeah, and more likely to get pre-qualified, which can obviously up your game at the negotiating table. Thanks so much, Janae. This is such a great topic. We'll be continuing to discuss, no doubt. If you have a money question, check out Janae's Debt Sucks University program. I linked you there in the Good Morning Show page on WFMYNews2.com.